Great storytelling is authentic, right? Yeah. And authenticity is another mega trend in yeah. business. And there are a lot of forces that I think are driving that. But I'd like to hear your perspective on what does authenticity mean for you as a leader? What does authenticity mean for Hyatt as a company? I think authenticity is, is uh, maybe the most important thing that you can um, live and, and evidence as a leader. Um, I think one of the most important skills you can have as a leader is listening skills, mm -hmm. but one of the most important attributes that I think you, you need to be able to demonstrate is authenticity. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that um, I think the, the days in which the shadow of a leader it was used as, a, as a, a vehicle or a deliberate tool to compel people to do things is long gone. It's become more democratized, and it's become more crowdsourced in many ways. In terms, of the it that's become crowdsourced is idea generation and and ways of ways to take companies forward. And the current generation is not really interested in title and status. They're interested in ideas, mm -hmm. and they're interested in in how they can actually engage themselves and become a part of that. Mm -hmm. And so. I think that the, if you're not authentic in how you interact with people and how you invite people into the dialogue and into the, into the inquiry, then you lose people quickly. You talked about this shadow of the leader concept several times. Could you elaborate on that? What is that concept to you and how has that shifted over your career? So the shadow of leader concept is um, something that uh, is both a, 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 a challenge as well as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. The challenge is that um, with when you're president and CEO of a, a large organization, people perceive you as um, uh, unapproachable, mm -hmm. distant. Um, there's intimidation. There's uh, fear. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of different things that shut down authentic engagement and and I would say openness. And I think that's a terrible tragedy. It's one of the worst parts of my job, mm -hmm. uh, frankly, to overcome that. And one way to overcome it is to actually ensure that you're being yourself and being down to earth. The opportunity, though, is to try to model the way in which you hope the company actually operates. That is openness, being clear and uh, candid about failures, uh, being clear and candid about the acceptance of failure and the need to learn from failure, um, to try to promote things that open people's minds up and have them going towards um, those that we're serving and understanding them better as opposed to uh, reverting back to their expertise. So those are the kinds of things that I think the shadow of a leader, which is you know the, the, the shadow that you cast, can be used to good effect. 